Cheryl, much of the campus of Wabansi Community College here in Sugar Grove looks like this, at least large portions of it. There are multiple large pine trees and other large trees snapped in half by what officials believe may have been a series of tornadoes. Campus security at Wabansi Community College guides students around collapsed light poles and tree branches sheared off in a crush of late February tornadoes. The Kane County campus may well have been in the direct path of a fast moving funnel cloud. Oh, this man emerged from a safe space at the college to find a window of his small SUV shattered all over the front seat. He found the car parked in the opposite direction he'd left it, spun around by the force of tornadic winds. The same line of storms tore off part of a roof in nearby Big Rock. We took cover, we're in the basement, um, and I could hear how bad the wind was from the basement, and um, my neighbor's roof that was flying off. In Elburn, a driver pulled off to the side of the road as strong winds whipped around him. Funnel clouds spun through pawpaw and sublet where hail rained down. Under skies shrouded in the sudden darkness of a wall cloud around 7 p.m., tornado force winds whipped through western Kane County. This is video shot by a viewer in Yorkville facing north toward Batavia. Moments later, he says, a transformer exploded. At Wabansi Community College, large portions of the parking lots are left littered with debris and surrounded by ComEd crews trying to quickly restore power. Students and staff hunkered down through the worst of what rescuers say may have been a collection of tornadoes. Lights are back on here on the college campus, but the surrounding area is still in the dark as ComEd crews work to quickly restore that power. There's a lot of physical damage left behind, but in all of this, at least at the campus, no one was hurt. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.